Move on to item 10, conduct of business. Item A, adopt resolution finding severe fiscal hardship with, will exist if additional city property tax funds are seized and additional unfunded mandates are adopted by the state of California. City Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. Uh, this item comes for you forward tonight uh, as an initiative in co coordination with the League of California Cities, a statewide initiative to express to the state of California the extreme difficulty, the hardship, in fact, that this city, along with uh, many, if not virtually all other cities in the state of California, will experience if additional uh, city property tax revenues are taken in order to assist in uh, addressing the state's extremely serious, critical financial crisis. Um, as you know, on May 5th, the Department of Finance and the governor announced that the state uh, expected to initiate a provision in the state constitution that allows the state, after declaring a fiscal crisis at the state level, to borrow over $2 billion in local property taxes from cities, counties, and special districts throughout the state of California. Uh, this borrowing will doubtless cause deeper than already anticipated cuts to the broad variety of local services which residents in our city and in other cities and communities up and down the state uh, are currently providing and the, and the difficulty that they are sharing in, in, in trying to balance their own budgets uh, during this time of fiscal crisis throughout the state and the nation. The legislator, legislature would be required to implement this borrowing program by a, a vote of uh, two-thirds of the legislature in order to declare and implement the urgency legislation that would be required to implement this borrowing. Uh, that legislation would include how uh, interest earnings would be provided and when the loan would be repaid. Um, at this point, those questions remain unanswered. Uh, as the City Council will recall, the opportunity to borrow local property taxes uh, found its way into the state constitution <coughs> in 2004 as the result of uh, voter approval of an initiative and, and uh, advocacy that was provided both by this uh, members of this city, this community, as well as um, the League of California Cities. The intent was to provide a structured and thoughtful method by which uh, taking of city revenues could occur, and that constitutional provision provides that any borrowing that is done by the state be repaid within three years and that the state cannot borrow in this manner any more than two times in a 10-year period. Um, you may wonder, or members of the public may wonder then, if this was something that was previously initiated by the League of Cities and uh, was put into the state constitution uh, with the support of uh, persons up and down the state who care and are concerned about municipal services, then why are we opposing this at the current time? And the reason is that uh, while the state is undoubtedly uh, and indisputably in a severe financial crisis, the fact remains that so are we. This is a time of unprecedented fiscal turmoil and uh, loss of basic revenues to cities, including the city of San Bruno, simply due to the downturn in the economy, which has impacted this city and which uh, we are currently attempting to balance a budget for fiscal year 9-10 that we project to be uh, with revenues that are uh, in the $3 million plus amount <coughs> less than revenues in the previous year and in recent previous years. So we already have a very, very significant hole in our budget. We've been working diligently over the last approximately five months to prepare a balanced budget for the City Council's consideration. 
And this additional take by the state in this existing uh, very difficult financial time would create a situation where the state would take an additional $889,000 of city property tax revenue uh, cumulatively statewide, a total of $2 billion, which uh, measured against the state's estimated financial deficit of upwards of $20 billion, um, means that this is not the solution. This is only being proposed by the state as a portion of the solution, and one that will wreak uh, uh, untold difficulty on cities and counties up and down the state uh, as we currently struggle, as I indicated before, to deliver very basic services that our residents rely on. The resolution that's in front of you tonight, as I indicated, is part of a initiative being spearheaded by the League of California Cities. It's my understanding that a number of cities throughout the state have already adopted this resolution and the League's uh, objective here is to have every city in the state take this action. Uh, the resolution uh, really re recites uh, in Maine the report that I've just given you. It calls out the difficulties that states are, or that cities are already experiencing, and the uh, concern about the action only deepening the financial crisis that we're all experiencing. Importantly, the resolution also acknowledges and identifies the borrowing that was put into the opportunity for borrowing that was put into the Constitution in 2004. Uh, and it also includes a clause uh, that may be important to the City Council that uh, protects the City from uh, this resolution being used against us as a means by which uh, we would be uh, precluded from borrowing or some other type of financial action that we may wish to take in the future. Uh, it has been specifically and carefully reviewed by Bond Council to make sure that it does not accidentally uh, state that the city does not have fiscal resources, but simply that uh, this is a piece of advocacy and one which, again, I would recommend to you as being an important strategic initiative simply to identify the city's policy and its support for the efforts being undertaken by other cities and by the League to uh, bring this issue in this crisis to a uh, more acceptable uh, resolution, one that we, of course, have uh, uh, been involved in trying to work with our legislators to understand and to assist their understanding of the trickle-down effects. Uh, so with that, I'd be open to any questions and would urge your action on this resolution. Any questions from Council or action from Council? Through the, through the chair. Councilman Ibarra. It's, it's difficult to read because it is so critical. And I, I really, I like the team we have in this city as far as trying to, you know, deal with this crisis and uh, anything that we can do and, you know, and help smooth it out. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. Anyway, I'd like to introduce the resolution. Roll call, please. Councilmember Ibera. Aye. Councilmember O'Connell. Aye. Councilmember Medina. Aye. Vice Mayor Ruane. Aye. Mayor Franzella. Aye. 